This old studio is empty now. But once its footlights illuminated a show seen four nights a week by, let's just say decent numbers for basic cable. Oh, how conveniently poignant. Hey, had I been working out? Come with me now as we travel back in time to take a behind the scenes tour of the old stomping grounds. Studio, let's say Studio A. This camera is off now, but once it captured the images of such unforgettable correspondence as, well, Stephen Colbert, Rob Corddry, Ed Helms, and Samantha B? Is that right, B? Like the insect B. I don't think that's right. the copy room. Old Xeroxy, we used to call her. Or so I imagine I might remember. This copier is dormant now, but there was a time when it photostatically reproduced politically charged satire that changed the very nature of how I was paid. <sighs> oh, campaign finance reform, you bottomless well of joy and amusement. This men's room is empty now. Do you mind? Apparently not. This women's room is empty now. You can just fast forward past this part. Then, as now, you did not want to go in there. You know, being back here has reminded me not only of what this show once meant to the public, but also of all the little people behind the scenes who you never got a chance to meet. Control room, sound guy, don't know what that was, don't care about him, out of my way. Ah, the lunchroom, where we used to get our food and our beverage. <laughs> this water bottle is... Empty now, but it once held so much liquid, much like my now bursting bladder. Excuse me. Ah, the studio. Studio A, as I recently decided I once called it. And this is the news desk that once cradled the elfin frame of one Mr. John Stewart. Now, of course, long lost to the ravages of mortality. I'm right here, Stephen. In our hearts, you are, John. That's certainly how I'll always remember you, seated behind that desk. Yeah, we're starting rehearsal, and uh, you're in front of camera three. So. In a sense, I am, John. Three. In a sense, I am.